You can support Retro Recollections on Patreon, just like these wonderful folks. Thank you for your support. The Nintendo 64 was not on my radar back in the day. I was no longer a teenager by the time it had come out, and real life got in the way of gaming a little. My next console would have been a PlayStation, which attracted me when a friend picked one up. I was immediately impressed with the more mature titles being released, and got my own console not long after. The N64 passed me by until quite a few years later when I began to dabble in emulation. It is well known that the N64 has been quite tricky to emulate over the years, with different projects having varied levels of success. These days many games are very playable but many are not without issues such as slowdown or visual artifacts. This is especially true when deploying advanced features such as internal resolution upscaling and other texture manipulation. Many will say the early and revolutionary 3D polygonal graphics, which was the big selling feature of the console, have dated more than some of its contemporaries. While this may be true, I have come to appreciate the system in recent years. Recently, Libretro, the API project responsible for applying emulation cores for use with RetroArch, did a post announcing the reviving and rewriting of Parallel RDP, a fast and accurate low-level N64 RDP emulation implementation. I won't pretend to understand the complexities of this, but from my understanding what has been achieved is the most accurate emulation of the system to date. You can read all about it here for yourself. For this initial release, the author has integrated it into the parallel N64 core available on RetroArch, but since the project has an MIT license, any talented developer is able to integrate it into other emulators. It is available now in RetroArch. To use it, just update your parallel N64 core and make sure you are using Vulkan as your video driver. Next, start up a game using the core and change these two settings in the core options then restart. Currently this implementation does not support internal upscaling, so you will be treated to fuzzy Vaseline smeared N64 visuals many of you will know and love. That being said though, it is superbly accurate and responsive. I felt like I was playing the real thing. Let's take a look at some captures.
Well, there you have it. I really enjoyed using this core with the new low-level N64 RDP features, and it makes a world of difference to the performance. I had no slowdown and had constant frame rates of either 30 or 60 frames per second depending on the games. I am looking forward to future developments such as the internal upscaling, but to be honest, it played so well that I'd started not to notice the low resolution fairly early on, as I was enjoying the gameplay so much. All the links you need are in the description to get you going with this, as well as links to where you can find me on social media or help support the channel if you so wish. And so, until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye.